there's been this whole craziness because Caitlin Clark, who is a spectacular women's basketball player, and there's nothing right. wrong with that, uh, she has been drafted into the WNBA by the Indiana Fever, and I've got some info on her contract here because people are very upset by this. Uh, this is from NBA Central. She has a four-year standard rookie contract. Over the course of the four years, it's going to be about three hundred. And forty thousand dollars, basically seventy-six k first year, seventy-eight k second year, eighty-five uh, k third year, and almost a hundred k on the option of the twenty-seven on the fourth year, which then she can decide if she wants to take or go to another team. But people are very upset by this. And uh, here's a tweet from Ro Khanna, Democrat Ro Khanna. Here's a good one: The first pick in the NBA draft will make around ten million dollars in one year. Caitlin Clark will make 76,000. That is wrong. Pay women what they deserve. Dennis, this strikes me before we get into some other tweets from analysts on this. This strikes me as the perfect example of people who don't understand anything as it relates to reality. Not only the difference between men and women and why I don't know, say men happen to generally be bigger and stronger, thus can dunk and more people go, but as it relates to to the pay, the Fabricated Pay Gap, which PragerU has a fantastic video on by Christina Huff Summers, and virtually everything. If these people could just take some money from LeBron James and give it to Caitlin Clark, they would do it. It's crazy. Well, I was thinking about this, and I don't follow the world of modeling much, to be honest, but I try to be up on more or less everything. I, I, I you know, I even know about major uh, football players and their their whom they're, whom they're dating. So I'm I'm up on some stuff. Anyway, if I would say to you, how much does a supermodel make? The truth is, some of them make millions of dollars a year. Correct? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Is there one male super supermodel who makes millions of dollars a year? I doubt it. Because generally speaking, people rather see women models than male models, generally speaking. Okay, so is it fair that male models make so much less than female models? Yes, of course it's fair. What does fair mean? Is it fair that, that there are guys struggling on the uh, getting dates? And I, my heart goes out to these guys who, you know, who, who were short and they're terrific guys, but they weren't blessed mm -hmm. with height. This life has unfairnesses in it. Now, if there were a way to have a surgery and elongate his body, I, I would totally support the guy. But he, what are you going to do? It, the WNBA does not bring in the revenue of the NBA. Right. So what are we supposed to do? Have a GoFundMe page for her? Well, by the way, you could have a GoFundMe page for her. It would be interesting if they did, I suppose. That's the, right. That's a good point. <laughs> but the basic truth, but it's so interesting because they take the gender confusion and then they combine it into something as it relates to capitalism that if that it really just all leads to socialism. If we could just confuse people and it won't matter if anyone watches the WNBA. And by the way, I'm not putting down the WNBA. If you're a girl and you're a basketball player and you love it, it's great. That's fine, but they, they are very confused about this. So Jamel Hill, who is an ESPN uh, analyst, big woke sort of lefty ESPN analyst, she wrote this. Uh, I'm already annoyed by this conversation because for years, WNBA players have fought for more money. And when they were outspoken, so many of y'all told them to shut up or reminded them that they had no value uh, the NBA has had for uh, the NBA has had for 50 plus years of investment, media coverage, etc. After 27 years, the WNBA will not be the current NBA. So stop comparing them. Further context: This salary is for four months of basketball, which is 40 games. Players also receive a free apartment and car. That doesn't make the salaries acceptable. But now you know why so many women's players play overseas to boost or supplement their income. Weaponizing this information against WNBA players is another form of misogyny. 
These women have been dreaming of playing professionally in front of American audiences their whole lives. Instead of clowning and reminding them of what they're not, buy the merchandise, go to the games, and watch the games on television. Very easy to criticize it when most of y'all couldn't get paid to compete in anything. It's so interesting because right there at the end, she admits the fraudulentness of her argument. She's basically saying, you guys don't watch the games, you don't buy the merchandise, you don't buy the jerseys, and thus we can't pay these chicks. It's like, by the it all way, comes I back to education. Admit, it's 40 games and four months. The salary seems yeah. to be much higher <laughs> at a free apartment and car. Right, actually, wait a minute, you know, four not, months, so. Not, not weeping for the woman. <laughs> Right, actually, so she's making what, about 80 grand in that first year? So you just triple that. So that would be 240 grand a year. That would, I, would gla I would quit this job today and dress up as a woman 